played pretty well. Um, uh, we broke down uh, rebounding a little bit there at the end of the half, um, but you know the second half they only have two offensive rebounds. They only have uh, 24 points, and, and uh, obviously it took us a while to settle down offensively and and, and attack the, uh, the the zone. And we made some really poor decisions uh, uh, both off the bounce and the pass in the first half. And, and and it's hard to run a lot of sets against that. You have to. You have to have a feel for you know just playing, and uh, you know it took us a while to adjust to that. But by and large, you know, uh, for senior night, and that's always emotional, uh, and, and I know it was for Greg especially. Uh, it's good to get through it and move on to the next one. Um, they're playing with confidence, uh, and it starts with the point guard. He's playing very confident and very, uh, you know, uh, his leadership is great. His decisions and uh, you know. And, it was, and, and TJ had, had great activity today. And, you know, Gene got a little frustrated because he gets the first bucket, and then you know, offensively, you know, he struggles against those kind of defenses a little bit. But I thought he did a great job on Cerna, and, and uh, re, you know, he had nine rebounds in 25 minutes, and and uh, and uh, did a really good job down there. You know, and Edis wasn't in the flow because of fouls, but uh, we usually play good. You know, our guards are pretty consistent. It's that activity of the inside guys. I thought TJ had a great activity today. He was guarding on the perimeter and rebounding inside. That that's a good combination for a six-seven kid like him. No, I honestly didn't. And he was such a great teammate that that I was just I was waiting for him someday to come in and just say, uh, you know what? I, uh, they're never going to clear me. Uh, there's just this is too hard, you know. And you know, and it's too early in the morning. <laughs> And he never missed a practice. He never, he never, uh, I never looked and said something in, in a meeting and he didn't nod his head yes. I mean, he's as good a teammate as I've ever seen. Biggest jump we've had in the last month is with confidence. These kids, I mean, you could see, I mean, the last two games, like Frank was saying, could have gone either way. It was a two point game with seven or eight to go and we went by 20. So to me, the most important thing, and I told these kids in there, is we don't want to go into that tournament with a, with any lack of confidence or any lack of sharpness. So we're going to go to Riverside and play it uh, like we do every game. It's the most important game of the year. Yeah, I play my game every game, and obviously we're becoming a great team. Everyone else on the team is stepping up. So I don't have to do as much as I did last year, and that's a great thing because I'm not worried about it at all because if we're winning, I'm happy. Most players like Greg situation, 25. He was playing, but his sophomore year, he ended up not playing as yeah. much. And most players would have packed up and transferred and yeah. went somewhere else. But, I mean, he was strong and stuck it out. As far as being there, I mean, what all he went through, sitting for two years and just watching us play on the court, I mean, that, that had to hurt. I mean, mm -hmm. I couldn't well, imagine going through that. You know, yeah. That and it, you needed yeah. the shooter and he was on the bench, yeah. Yeah, he was big just to stick that two years out mm -hmm. and just – Wait his time and it finally can. You guys haven't won a game with Riverside yet. We're gonna, I know, we're gonna yeah. do it. We're, we're gonna do it, trust yeah, me. Where we're looking now, you know he'll be this.